dedicated team of top-level marine engineers have combined their talents to develop and build the Oleg Strashnov, a heavy lift crane vessel unique in its class. The special shape of its monohull gives this cutting-edge workship all the stability it needs to lift up to 5,000 metric tons while at a draft of 13.5 meters. While working at the shallow draft of 8.5 meters, the associated narrow width provides the vessel with excellent workability for lifting smaller modules up to 800 metric tons. The Oleg Strashnov is capable of maintaining a sailing speed up to 14 knots making it one of the fastest crane vessels in the world. The well-equipped accommodation block has a capacity of 220 people in mainly two-man cabins. The expansive deck has a capacity of 10 tons per square meter and covers an area of 3,500 square meters. This means that modules, jackets and piles can be taken on board and transported to the offshore location. Even more important, Large subsea structures that have to be installed at remote locations can be taken on board at the fabricator's yard, thus joining the vessel for mobilization to the field. For deep water installations or lifts in a very congested field, the vessel can lift on DP. The six thrusters give the Oleg Strashnov DP3 capabilities, unique for a crane vessel of this type. The working heart of the Oleg Strashnov is its powerful crane. For serious heavy lifting, the main hook has a revolving capacity of 5,000 metric tons, the largest in the world of monohull crane vessels. At this capacity, it has a horizontal reach of 33 meters and can lift a load 102 meters above the water. The auxiliary hook is capable of raising an 800 metric ton load up to 134 meters above the water. With this capacity, she is perfectly suited to installing modules on floating production platforms in the field anywhere in the world. The crane boom is equipped with a unique trolley block that travels up and down its length. This feature not only enables the vessel to transfer small loads quickly, but more importantly, it is used to transfer people to and from the platform once the main hook has been connected. The Oleg Strashnov's dual hull width reduces the surface area cutting through the water when sailing. At a draft of 8.5 meters, the width is only 37.8 meters versus 47 meters at maximum draft. This narrower width, in combination with the Oleg Strashnov's high-efficiency diesel-electric marine engines, can propel her through the water at an impressive 14 knots, unheard of in a ship of this type. HLV Oleg Strashnov, with her remarkable sailing speed of 14 knots, crosses the ocean in 16 days. Upon completion of her mobilization, the vessel sails to the deep water location for the installation of a spar. The huge deck space of the vessel of 3,500 square meters, or 38,000 square feet, enables her to take the mooring piles on deck prior to the commencement of the installation. Once the pile is upended, by means of both the underwater block and auxiliary block, it is lowered to a preset depth with the underwater block. For deep water installations, the pile is hung off and taken to the seabed in two stages using Dyneema wire deployed from the deep water lowering winch. The agility of the vessel allows the pile to be positioned accurately. Specialized deep water work class ROVs are used to power the suction pump and monitor the penetration.
Upon installation of all suction piles, three mooring arrangements will be pre-laid. While the Oleg Strashnov is installing the suction piles and pre-laid mooring assemblies, the spar is towed from shore to the offshore location using reliable ocean tugs. Once the water ballast hoses are connected to the top of the spar, plugs are pulled out from the bottom end of the spar by a tug, initiating the spar up ending. While the spar is kept in position by tugboats, the pre-laid mooring line assemblies are connected to it. Then, the Oleg Strashnov continues with the installation of the remaining mooring line assemblies. During all stages of the mooring installation, it is essential that the polyester lines not be allowed to touch the seabed. A tug keeps the polyester line free of the seabed while the Oleg Strashnov moves back to the spar and connects the remaining mooring lines to the spar. Using a chain winch assembly, long chains can be deployed in a well-controlled manner, eliminating the risk of chain twist during deployment. Once the full mooring line assembly is completed, a messenger cable is connected between the spar and the chain. Next, the mooring assembly is lowered in a controlled manner, while the chain can be pulled in from the spar. During all stages of the mooring line installation, an ROV keeps a close watch on the polyester line to make sure it does not touch the seabed. The extraordinary DP capabilities of the vessel enable her to keep position even under difficult weather conditions. Some spars require installation of fixed ballast offshore. Due to the working deck height of the Oleg Strashnov, mooring and accessing of vessels alongside is easy and safe. ballasted and all mooring assemblies are pre-tensioned, the topside can be installed. The 5,000 metric ton main hook enables the Oleg Strashnov to install large and heavy topsides safely and accurately. Oleg Strashnov is a remarkable offshore crane vessel with unparalleled advantages. The combination of its dual hull width, fast sailing speed, and DP capabilities, to name a few, make it the unbeatable choice for installing modules on existing FPSOs being upgraded in the field. A module can be taken on deck in sheltered waters, then transported to the field for offshore installation. This not only saves time and money, it also improves safety and reduces lost production time substantially. The clever design of the Oleg Strashnov's A-frame 
allows the ship to pass under the bridges crossing major waterways. This not only enables access to the Baltic and Black Seas, but it also reduces the mobilization time from Rotterdam, for example, to the Middle East, Asia, and beyond. Upon arrival at a bridge, the A-frame is lowered without causing any significant delay in the mobilization. Once the bridge is passed, the structure is raised again. Among other things, this means that the ship can effortlessly navigate the Suez Canal, reducing sailing distance by 4,425 miles. Platform installation is normally done with the ship at anchor, both to make optimum use of the crane's capacity and to minimize fuel consumption. The one-two combination of the crane's main and auxiliary hooks enables the Oleg Strashnov to lift a large jacket horizontally from a cargo barge with its main hook, then upend it by a combined effort of the main and auxiliary hooks. This novel method translates into a saving of millions of dollars on jacket fabrication because it requires less steel and equipment and it utilizes a conventional cargo barge instead of a highly specialized launch barge. In order to secure the jackets to the seabed, the Oleg Strashnov is fitted out with a range of hydraulic underwater pile driving hammers, capable of installing both main piles and skirt piles. To make use of the shallow draft features, the vessel can be ballasted. With the full 5,000 metric ton lift capacity of the Oleg Strashnov's massive hook at their disposal, the fabricators can build larger modules. This means they can complete hookup and commissioning onshore prior to offshore installation, thus substantially reducing the safety risks, excessive hookup costs, and potential delays associated with offshore hookup. This provides a surer guarantee that the oil company's first production date can be met. The installation of large templates in deep water, modules on floating production platforms, and even the installation of entire platforms for the oil and gas industry is ultra-challenging work. The tougher the job, the more advanced the equipment needs to be. The Oleg Strashnov is miles ahead, anywhere on the globe.